The Vancouver Police Tactical Squad was called out to a townhouse near Kingsway and Boundary at 8.15 Sunday morning. All units copy. He has the baby in front of him, gun in his left hand. Pointing the gun. Shortly before noon, the suspect fired two shots out the door, but no one was hit. By 2.30 in the afternoon, police had negotiated an exchange. The suspect could get a chance to talk to his brother, two sisters, and a brother-in-law if he'd throw the gun out. In the scuffle for the gun, the baby was dropped. Outstanding members, I think an excellent investigator, good supervisor, well respected by his peers. I think that's probably you know the best credit you can give anyone is to have the respect of their peers. The nightmare of every police officer and every police officer's family became a reality last night. The RCMP's drug squad had waited all day to raid the basement of 3416 West 2nd, the home of a suspected cocaine trafficker. The RCMP asked Vancouver City's emergency response team to storm in. Just after 9 p.m., two ERT members did just that. The armed suspect, apparently tipped off by listening to a police scanner, was waiting for them. They came from across BC, across Canada, and many from across the border. Only a few of these men in uniform knew Sergeant Larry Young, but each in his own way felt Young's death in the line of duty. A duty they share, even in the face of danger, and sometimes death. This used to be called the Justice Bowl, and it pitted the two sides of the justice system against each other. The name Justice Bowl has been changed to the Sergeant Larry Young Memorial Justice Cup. Young's friends wanted his bravery to be remembered always. They decided on this four-mile run to raise money for a scholarship in his name. Every year, more than 300 people come out to retrace the route.